focus on my beautiful bearded lockdown phase. Lockdown finishes today or tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, so I can get this shaped up. Anyway, what up people? Hope everyone is well and of course literally doing well. So this video, I'm actually going to have it on Instagram and also on YouTube. And it's, it's, it's regards to something I keep seeing on a daily basis on the social media. I keep seeing it on Instagram mostly. And it's the fact that our... Oh, you know, I'm not getting enough views, I'm not getting likes. And these are content creators basically who have like hundreds of thousands of followers, millions of followers, or even like hundreds of followers that are basically feeling the crunch in regards to, of course, not enough views, not enough likes, not enough uh, views, likes, followers, and, and so on. First of all, if you have your self-esteem wrapped around views, likes, followers, and metrics, then you've automatically failed because you're your passion, your dreams, whatever you're trying to manifest and build around, which is your happiness, if you have that locked around views, followers, likes, so let's just call it metrics, then you've automatically felt and you really got to take a step back and really detach from that particular aspect of metrics because it serves you in no way. Now, the reason content creators or people in general are getting um, low views, oh, low views, likes, followers, and so forth on social media, on Instagram, for example, is it's basically this: the organic reach on Instagram has been sucked out dry. Meaning, when Instagram first came on the scene, it was a platform for photographers, right? So what happened was because there was less people using the platform, there was, for example, let's we had low people creating content. No, you had low people on the platform and you had lots of attention. Meaning when you posted anything and everything, you would automatically get hundreds of views, likes, followers, the engagement was off the roof. But what happened? When Instagram realized that more people were creating content on the platform, more people were making money off the platform, they're like, all right, cool, now we can make money basically off Instagram. So what did they do? They introduced pay ads, and eventually what happened was, they reduced the organic reach so low that now basically you don't get enough attention. You don't get enough views, likes, followers. Let's call it attention basically um, on your content that you would usually get. For example, a, a post that would get you maybe 500,000 views now only gets you 5,000 views or less. It's because the organic reach has been sucked out dry. Meaning if now you now basically want to Ha generate more attention for your brand, your business, your passion, which could be comics, slime, whatever it might be, you now basically have to pay Instagram for that service. Now, a lot of people get pissed, but I don't because it's business. It's a free platform. It's free to create content. It's free to use. It's free to communicate. Everything is free. And when Instagram saw the benefits of basically how they could generate money, it's a business. It has to be, of course, literally done. Now, the thing that people need to get over is this whole algorithm business um, in regards to basically it's the algorithm, it's the algorithm. If your mentality basically is the algorithm, then you've again, you've automatically failed. I actually like the algorithm because as Gary Vee would say, it works on behalf of the person that's consuming, for example, content. I mean, I'm a Marvel fan. So now every single time I go onto the explore page, basically I get my Marvel content or I get content from my favorite creator that I always check, check out. So it works on behalf basically of the, of the person that's consuming the content, not the person that's producing, of course, um, the content. Because Instagram has seen it, how can we best serve the people? And of course, they're making it harder, I guess, also because they're flushing out basically, of course, the nonsense, the garbage, the dread dead content that doesn't serve people, period. You know, there was times we had videos of people fighting, just like fighting videos, school fight videos, so much nonsense and garbage. And of course, this has also been put in place to just flush out basically, of course, the dreaded dead content. And again, also, if you're someone that's bothered about views, likes, followers, and you're bothered about the algorithm, then Instagram and social isn't for you because, because social media 
essentially is a, is a way to express yourself, to build your brand, to build your business, to build around your happiness on a daily basis, which is basically why people who still create content, who feel the crunch in regards to like they understand that organic reach has been sucked out dry. They understand all of that. But what do they do? They continue creating content on a daily basis. So my point to you is instead of moaning and complaining, basically, you're not getting enough views and likes and followers and whatever it might be. Continue creating your content. Try harder, meaning produce more content on a daily basis. And of course, of course, of course. You want to do something that 99% of you don't do, which is spread your content out basically on platforms that do have organic reach and that are popping off right now for you to actually, of course, blow up overnight, build a community overnight, grow quicker because the organic reach is there. And the platforms that are literally doing it now is LinkedIn and TikTok and of course, Snapchat basically, Spotlight, which just came out five days ago, which I've used. I'm going to show you pretty much visual proof, basically, in regards to um, what do you call it, in regards to how the organic reach is literally on there. Now, TikTok's organic reach is amazing. I've gone viral there at least three times, but the, the level of viral I've gone on TikTok is insane. And that's because, and you're thinking, but how did you go viral on, you know, it's quite simple. I didn't plan to go viral, but I knew I would go viral one day on TikTok because the organic reach is way high. I posted up to 30 videos a day. And then one of my videos went viral when I went to Turkey. Within four weeks, it hit 980,000 views, just under a million views, 160,000 likes. I think it got shared like three to 500 times. And there was about 200 comments. And I replied to every single, um, of course, every single comment. Now, again, the reason I went viral was because I was producing quantities and quantities and quantities of content on a daily basis. Not quality content, because quality is subjective. You can make quality content with an iPhone 6. Someone that views it, likes you, likes his quality, amazing. Someone sees this now, sees me speaking on this video, says, nah, I don't like it. Quality is just garbage, I don't like it. It's subjective. Quality is subjective. 100%. When you watch a Marvel movie, right, you watch a Marvel movie because of the storytelling, because you love the characters, because you've been engrossed 11 years of Marvel comic cinematic history. You've been you're engrossed into that. So the CGI could be bad. The graphics could have been bad, but you are engrossed into the storytelling and you love it. And that's quality for me. I don't care about the CGI and everything there. For me, the quality is like the storytelling. Everything connects. It's 11 years of history that that basically came to an end in Avengers Endgame. Now, somebody could watch all 11 years of Marvel movies and say, no, I don't like them. Quality is rubbish, garbage. It's subjective. You don't decide what quality is. The audience, the community, the people you're trying to serve or sell to actually do. So moving forward from literally that, I hit 900, 900, 980,000 views within four weeks. And I went from 3,000 followers or something to like, I can't remember, to eight and a half, six and a half thousand followers. Now, of course, again, the organic reach is high. It's high. It's high. Um, Snapchat. Snapchat just launched five days ago a, a, a copy of TikTok called, of course, um, Snapchat spotlights. So the thing, the, the dope thing is about Snapchat spotlight is basically you don't need to have 10,000 followers um, or 10,000 views in regards to TikTok in being approved basically to actually qualify to making money off your videos. What, what um, Snapchat spotlight are doing is Every single day, they're giving away a million dollars, right? A million dollars every single day. So there you submit basically your um, your content, the best con the, your best video. Sometimes they, they don't accept them, sometimes they do. And the ones that get the highest engagement, the highest engagement period, like views, likes, followers, and so forth. I don't know how the algorithm works, but I'm pretty, I'm assuming it's going to be basically that. I know you have to pass a certain threshold, but I don't know what that threshold of, I guess, views, likes, followers, watch time basically is. But once you pass that, Snapchat will send, Snapchat 
team snapchat will send you a dm on your snapchat and now basically they they just say cool your video is done well and so forth and then they basically give you a cut of that million dollars and you get paid for your videos so my point is take advantage out of the attention take advantage out of the attention while it's available if you can't grow on instagram well the thing is you can grow on instagram you can grow on youtube but it's going to take you a long long time because instagram and youtube they're all mature platforms tiktok is still new um snapchat spotlight is literally still new so take advantage and build elsewhere on other platforms to attain your community for example on instagram i've got 23 on instagram i've got 23,000. sorry keep starting what's up on instagram i have 23,000 followers on tiktok i have 10,000 followers on Twitter, I have around a thousand, of course, literally followers. On SoundCloud, I have around a thousand followers. I use SoundCloud when I upload my podcast now and again and my DJ sets, which I need, to, I need to do more of the audio side of things. On YouTube, I have 251 um, subscribers. Now you're thinking, well, that's not really a lot compared to other content creators. My point is, it's not about how much followers that you have, because if you're in that mindset, you've mentally sentenced yourself to death and you have automatically lost because you're too sucked in to the metrics and not actually producing content around the things that you basically love and live for. My point is, again, I'm spreading the attention out on different platforms and I'm taking advantage out of the platforms. Look at it as real estate. Let's say TikTok is new real estate. Instagram real estate is too expensive for you to buy. The houses are too expensive. Let's say now the TikTok houses, are, they cost like, I don't know, they cost £5,000 for a four bedroom house, right? And everyone's like, no, I don't like it. I've got my Instagram houses. And then, you know, eventually TikTok houses go up in price. So now they got from £5,000 uh, £5, to eighty thousand pounds because everyone starts to buy them quickly while they're cheap and hot and then when you want to get your grab it's now 160,000 250,000 per tiktok house and that's how it goes it's like real estate so you suck up the attention while it's hot i don't give a crap about the social media platforms i really don't i don't care about instagram i don't care about youtube i don't care about any of them i care where your attention is i care where your attention is i'll give you an example i don't give a crap about these social media platforms like i said i care about where the attention is the reason i'm on social media is because your attention is here your attention is basically literally in here which is why i'm in literally of course in here now as a dj as a dj when i first started djing i started making my mixtapes literally on cassette tapes right when people's attention they went from cassette tapes then they went to CDs, then they went to mini discs, then they went to MP3 players, and then basically around that period, that's when DJs were basically sending mix, mix, uh, recording their sets and sending it online. And then eventually you had SoundCloud, uh, Mixcloud, Spotify, Apple Music, and all of that basically shifted. Now every single person now is buying their music online my point to you is if ev if everyone's attention went back to cassette tapes i would gladly buy a hundred cassette tapes and i'll get a cassette player and i would record all of my dj sets basically on cassette and then i would blatantly give them out for free to the people on the street because that's what i care about is your attention attention rules everything the reason that you have an iphone or a samsung is because Apple have your attention. The reason you have a PlayStation or the new, you, ha you have the new PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox is because the brand PlayStation and Xbox or Microsoft did something to you through their culture, through the way they make you feel, have caused you to trust and love the brand and gained your attention and power. You now have spent over £500 basically on, of course, a PlayStation um, a PlayStation 5. It's all about attention. When you want, when the guy, when I see a nice, a nice attractive woman on the streets, it's how do I get her attention? What do I do? 
and I know exactly what to do, you get me? But how do I get her attention? When you want to get, when you want, when you want to get a, a, get a new job, how do you get that person's attention that you basically want this job? Attention is the key. You cut the attention from the brand and the business or the person you're trying to talk to or romance, get me ladies. You cut that link of attention while they're trying to, they, they want to be into you or they want to connect with you. They'll come running back to you full speed because they want the attention. And that's where I am. I, I'm here because of your attention. And that's pretty much what it boils down to. Attention is the name of the game. So all of that to basically say, step one, stop moaning, complaining, right? About why you're not getting enough metrics and views. If you are, if you still are, if you're still complaining about why you're not getting enough views, likes, followers, subscribers, why you're not getting enough leads, whatever it might be, like Gary Vee would say, your shit is broken. It's broken, go fix it. If you're still focused about those metrics, your, your self-esteem is wrapped around there. You're broken. You need to get out of that because if you don't, you're going to detriment your health to such a point that you're going to feel very, 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 you're going to be out of it. Stop following those little hearts and those little followers, whatever it might be. Here, I've got this many followers, this followers. Like It doesn't matter. It never has mattered, period. Do that. And secondly, build around the things that you love to do. And of course, the most important thing, spread your attention out. Like Gary Vee would say, don't be one dimensional, man. Oh, I'm only creating, I'm only creating content on Instagram. Well, on the flip side, TikTok is like, yo, man, I can give you millions and hundreds of thousands or hundreds of followers and views and whatever it might be. And the thing is, I'm not being, I'm not double talking as in before I said, basically, you know, it's not about views, followers and so forth. The reason I'm using views, followers and likes and followers on TikTok is because it's crazy. There's people that have posted the first video and they've gone viral. There's people that have like, what, 100,000 followers and they have like five posts. And that's because the organic reach is insane. It's insane. The organic reach is insane. Now it's been capped a little bit because more people are using the platform but it's still a hundred times higher than TikTok. So I implore you, to every single person, start basically using this before you start manifesting your content basically into what you call this. Like I said, stop moaning and complaining, right? Create abundance of um, quantities of content in regards to Instagram. If you're posting three times a day, post six, a post six to 10 times a day. You know, so you reach more, so you can reach more people. So you can basically gain more attention from the community that you're trying to reach and actually grow. You can still grow on Instagram. It's just, it's just going to take longer than basically, then of course, than um, how it is now. When I first started on Instagram, you know, um, it took me a while to grow. But when I started creating daily content, and I jumped on Instagram about six years ago from 2016 while the organic reach was high. So I was averaging, when I started really getting people's attention, I was averaging up to 500,000 views um, or likes a day, 1,000 followers a day. And this, this was before um, stories, before IGTV, before I think even video came into it, but I sucked the attention dry. So the reason I'm proud basically when I look at my Instagram account is because I took advantage out of the attention while it was hot. Now, five years later, the organic reach on Instagram has been sucked dry. But I don't complain or moan and cry because I understand it's all business. And when you think like that, you can move forward of your life, not be sucked into the past. That's pretty much it. That's my thoughts. Hope every oh, of course, of course. I basically wanted to show you um, basically this. So. This is basically um, TikTok Reels, right? So what I'm gonna do is, sorry, not TikTok Reels, oh my gosh. This is um, Snapchat Spotlight. So, it, so where you can see Snapchat Spotlight, right? You can see that one of my videos right here, I posted this on Sunday, it got 58,000 views, 58,480 views, right? Now, if we basically click on here, the little tab there, the drop down menu comes, click on more. These are some of the views that I've got 1,238, 58,118, 
132. Every single one of these um, snaps that I've posted to Spotlight basically have um, literally got me more engagement than all of my basically um, all of my Instagram posts combined. And the post that got me 58,000 views was basically this. Now look, come on, look at that. Let's play the volume. It, may, it would make me vomit. It would make my vomit want to vomit. Would you people actually go on this ride? Like, I would never go on this ride, man. That's pretty much it. Now, right, now, check this ride out, right? now the reason, the reason this got me, the reason this got me basically these type of metrics, 58,000 views, um, 2.1 thousand likes and over 160 people sharing it was basically be because the organic reach is high. The organic reach is high. It just came out five days ago. They want you to use the platform. They want you to go in hard and they want you to create as much content as possible. So they're giving you what Instagram, what TikTok, what all of the social media platforms gave you at the beginning, which is basically a crazy amount of organic reach. My point basically is use um, Snapchat spotlights to pretty much increase your awareness on your brand, business, hobby, passion, I don't care what it is, utilize it, rinse it, and use it basically for your means to move forward in life. And of course, if, you're, if your video does well, you've got money in the bank, so you can't complain. Like, it's easy, it's free, it's easy, it's free, easy and free, easy and free, and all you need is a cell phone or a mobile phone, you get me? With that being said, Everyone enjoy this video. Like, follow, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, but just watch and enjoy. And I hope everyone basically, I wish, not, I wish nothing but peace, love to every single person that's watching this video. Like seriously, get out of the whole views, likes and followers, metrics, nonsense. It's not going to serve you. It's going to detriment your health and make you feel completely just uneasy in all levels. It's not a good feeling. Don't do it. Don't pander to it. This is why I'm happy that Instagram said that they were going to remove li remove likes and so forth because it's destroying people. You know, like you have to, you really have to look on and understand what's really happening here. With that being said, I hope this video was useful. Um, again, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch everyone in a bit. Bye. Now